Hello friends, welcome to BISPtrainings.com. My name is Sumit and in this video I am going to demonstrate you how to build a Java project using Apache Ant on Ubuntu. So I am expecting that you have already set up Ant on your Ubuntu operating system. If you haven't so, you can set it up and if you want to know how to set up Ant on your operating system, Ubuntu operating system, you can go to my previous video where I have explained how to set up and install Apache Ant on Ubuntu. So let's start building our application, a Java project on Apache Ant. So as you can see here, I got to know that what's the version I'm using. So I'm using Apache Ant version 1.9.7, which is the latest version released by Ant. The very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new directory on my desktop. So I pass the command ls and cd desktop. And here I'm going to create a directory mkdir and test app. That's the name of the directory. If I get to this directory, this directory would be blank. There are no files into it. We can have a look here. This directory is blank. So the very first thing I'm going to do is within this directory, I'm going to create a new Java file into it. So to create a Java file, I pass a command cat and name of the file. So I write demo dot Java. Now I need to pass a command here. You can see a demo.java file has been built. So I'm going to create the file. So I write class. Basically, it should be public class, public class demo, public static void main string args. System dot out dot print ln welcome to BISP and save it. So let's have a look this demo dot Java. So I right click open with get it and you can see the file has been created successfully. If you want to make any changes, you can make your changes here itself. So public class. If you want to create a package, so we can specify a package name as well, package org.bisp. Uh, and project. But right now I'm not going to pass any package name. If you want, you can specify a package name. So I'll leave it package name, save it and close it. So that's the Java file. Now I need to compile this Java file and create class file. Here comes an into picture. So I'm going to use the and for building this Java file, compile the Java file and create a class file for this. But for that we need to use, we need to take help of build.xml file. Because here if I try to pass a command and I'm getting error message that build.xml does not exist. So build.xml file is a file which contains the information about the file, the target directories and the destination directories. So all the class files, all the Java files will be listed within build.xml file. So we need to create that build.xml file. So I'm going to pass a new command within test app that is cat build.xml and I'll save it. So that's build.xml file because I'm going to customize this build.xml file by going into get it and I'm going to customize it. I'm going to write my XML code here. So to write XML code XML version is equal to 1.0 encoding is equal to UTF-8 Make sure that there would be no space between the question mark, question mark and the angle brackets. It's mandatory that you need, you should take care of 
the blank spaces or the white spaces then I start project default is equal to slash project and default is equal to run so we now we need to create target tags slash target and I'm going to specify their names target name is equal to run so whenever we execute whenever we pass an and command and it will run build.xml file so first of all it will run it will look for this run target so it will run this target and whatever we have defined within this this will simply execute it so and that second target name I'm going to define another name for this so I define a new name for this target and the name will be compile and this target name it should be depends on compile target should be depend on compile target and in compile target I'm going to pass Java C that where the Java basically where the class file will be stored so it will execute the along with the Java C command so Java C and I write SC DIR is equal to the source directory will be dot slash the current directory and the dest directory the destination directory will be destination directory will be dest so it will create it will look for this destination directory so if I execute this much let's test this so I save it and close it and to test it a simple pass command and so you see the compilation has been done and I'm getting error message does not support SCDIR so it should be SRCDIR sorry for this one so SRCDIR and now when I run and so I'm getting error message build has failed because the destination directory does not exist so I need to create a destination directory in test app so I pass a command mkdir dest so now we have got a destination directory so all the compiled files all the compiled java pack files will be stored within this destination now I run and command you can see I'm getting one more error message the build has been successful and if I look at the desk we have a demo dot class but still I'm getting one error message and that is I need to include the include and runtime so I again get to build dot XML open this build dot XML and I add a command here Java C and include and runtime I set it to false include and runtime I set this to false save it let's test it again this time the error has been removed the warning has been removed and the build has been successful and we have got the in within destination folder we have got demo dot class file now if you have multiple files within a specific package right now I haven't specified the I, I have got only one Java file if you have got multiple Java files you can execute all the Java files together by using this command so by passing this dot slash it will execute all the Java files which are available in the current directory it will compile them convert create class files for them and store into dest folder so that this the class file has been created now we need to run that Java file so to run that Java file it would be going to run from this target run so I write Java 
class name is equal to demo slash java and i need to set the class path as well because the class path is also required so class path is equal to class or class path path is equal to and test so let's test it save it and now if i pass and it will call the run first how the execution will goes on first it will call this project where, where we have default run in default run it depends on compile so first it calls the compiles target this compile target compiles all the java class and converts them into class file and stored into destination folder and from here we can specify we can execute a specific java file java class name demo so like this we can create a java program project by you how we can create a java project and compile it by using and so we can see the output here that is welcome to BISP and if you look at our demo.java we have got welcome to BISP. If we make any changes into it for example I make a change welcome to BISP trainings.com and save it. I do not need to compile by myself I simply pass a command and it will automatically compile all the Java files, convert them into classes, store them into the destination directory and execute. Them. Welcome to BISP training. So this is called automation where we don't have to recompile all the files individually. That's all in this video. If you have any queries, you can write to us on www.bisptrainings.com. You can subscribe our YouTube channel for more videos. Keep watching. Have a nice day. Goodbye.